Thursday at the Sony Ericsson Open and the fans were racing into Crandon Park to see the last two men's quarter-finals. Gilles Simon is one of the few players on the ATP World Tour who has a superior head-to-head -head against Roger Federer, having beaten him twice in three meetings. In Miami, though, it was Federer who made the better start. Federer just quarter pilot at the moment. That's well, a lovely backhand. Simon was clearly struggling with a shoulder injury, and with Federer three love up in the opening set, the match was called to an end. It's a very lackluster volley. That's There's definitely something wrong with the Frenchman. No, he's uh, going to call it a day. Very disappointing. It's Federer who's through to the semi-finals. Uh, almost the backhand, but the problem is I cannot play it like this. So every time you return when you're on the court, outside the court it's okay, but when you return, when you jump and you have to run, you do it every time. And so you feel it every time. Federer would play the winner of Thursday's last quarter-final, which saw Czech number one and last year's Miami finalist Thomas Burdick against world number one Rafael Nadal. Burdick had beaten Nadal three times before, but since then the Spaniard had won the last nine meetings without losing a set. In Miami, it was Nadal who began brightly. It's the anticipation that's so good. He was already in position to play that forehand before Burdich had made contact with the high backhand volley. Nadal took the first set, Burdick fought back in the second, although Nadal was still fighting his corner. Oh, stop it! Check this out. A little bunt, absorbing the pace of the Burdich blow, sending it back with interest. Good stuff from Burdich. It's the first set of tennis he's been able to take off Nadal since October 2006. Burdich took the second set. The third was another close affair, but it was Nadal who edged the big points. That's brilliant. What a game from Nadal. Had to dig incredibly deep there to get out of trouble. Well, I tell you what, this opening game could have switched the momentum of the match completely. Nadal wins. Certainly had to work exceptionally hard for the last hour and a half or so. The opening set was some of the best tennis I've seen Nadal play this season. But Burdich made him fight all the way. Uh, I think I started the match playing fantastic. After that, I had a few mistakes at the beginning of the second, so I was lucky, especially at the um, beginning of the third with that first game with Love 40. You know, so uh, against Thomas, one player like Thomas, is <laughs> it's impossible to have this few mistakes and come back in, in the second set, so I was lucky, I think, at the beginning of the third. Now tomorrow will be a really special match, always is, is fantastic play against Roger, it will be very, very difficult and I will try my best, we'll see what's going on. Yeah, I think we're both looking forward, you know, uh, to play each other in, in the States again for, I think we haven't played in six or seven years since the finals here, back in 2005 maybe, so it's been a long time, you know, and uh, I think the, there's a big excitement around that match and uh, uh, I hope I can play a good match, you know, because uh, we always have special ones against each other. And we've never really had absolute shockers except maybe the one French Open Finals where I could barely win games because he was so good. So 
Uh, I think on hard courts and a slow hard court is really even territory as well, and uh, it would definitely make for a great, great match.